Oftentimes when we feel guilt, because of our own sins, one of our first and natural responses is to seek justification by pointing our finger at someone else. Someone we may think is worse than we are. Of course, when we are selective in our criteria, and use double standards, we can usually find someone who is a greater sinner than ourselves. However, when we realize that even though there may be greater sinners than us, we need to realize that we ourselves are still sinners. But many times when we are attacked, our first instinct is to find fault with our accuser. We commonly point our finger at the one who is pointing their finger at us. We rationalize that if we can find fault with our accuser, it somehow absolves us of our own fault. After all, if the one accusing us is discredited, then it leaves us unscathed, right? But then, in our attempts toward self-justification, or at least excusing our sins, it is sometimes common to find fault with God. Without even realizing what we are doing, we think that if we can find fault with God, then He has no right to judge us. There are many ways we may use as a means of discrediting God. Such as, if God created everything, then it must be God who created sin. What kind of God would create people, just to send them to hell? If God knew people would sin, why did he create them at all? If God is love, then why is there so much evil in the world? Even Adam used this tactic in Genesis chapter 3 when God asked him if he had eaten of the tree that he had forbid him of. He told God, it was the woman you gave me. She gave me some fruit of the tree and I ate it. In all these questions we ask about God, the motive is not really to seek answers, but rather to discredit God so that we may not have to answer to him. Although scriptures clearly tell us we are all sinners and deserving of death, scripture also tells us there is good news. We can all be justified freely by God's grace. God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for our sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life for us. Since we know we are all going to die, maybe just not when. It would certainly be in our best interest to seek God's forgiveness today.